welcome to the stage, my personal friend, Jonathan Grant! Yeah! take direction so well. That was amazing. What William didn't tell you is this is my first time ever doing this. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, first attempt to stand up and uh, it is terrifying. Um, this is very scary. This is very scary. All right. Um, I just keep, I can't stop thinking of like all the fears I have. Like I'm going to forget everything I was going to say. Like my fly is going to be down. No one's going to tell me. Like I'm gonna catch everyone looking at my crotch at the same time. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but like I'm an actor, I do some things. Uh, I've been I play characters sometimes. I have been known to do some high caliber improvisational acting. <laughs> but this is my first time just standing at a microphone telling you guys what I think about stuff with my real voice. <laughs> I. I hate, I just hate like a recording, like right now it's okay hearing myself, but in a recording, my real voice is my least favorite sound in the world. My favorite sound in the world is <laughs> but, it is. But a stark contrast to that, my least favorite sound is my own voice. Like when, when I'm in my own head, I feel like I sound like a cool, like suave, understated George Clooney type. And then I hear a recording of it and it's like a George W. type. <laughs> you can't fool with us. <laughs> That's, that's not a political joke, I just think we sound like goobers when I listen. So, I, don't I don't think I'm alone in this, I think there are more people that have that same kind of, like our ears just, they lie to us, right? Like it's like they just, our ears truly spend, they spend their whole existence just taking like a horrible, crazy making sound and filtering it into a lie that we know is a lie, but we live with it on a daily basis. Our ears are the Sean Spicer of our body. <laughs> And that is a political joke. Thanks. Thanks. You guys are very kind. Thank you. Um, I did, so it was my first time out, uh, but I figured why not invite a bunch of friends? Let's see there, let's go out in a blaze of glory. Or, yeah. I know those guys in here seem cool, so let's all be friends. Um, I invited some friends also from the, uh, the New York International Auto Show. Yeah. Woo woo. Let me show you this brand new Range Rover Velour! Uh, no, so the, the, the auto show is going on right now at the Jakob Javits Center. Over on, uh, <laughs> um, and if you've never been before, you should come check it out. There's a couple more days. It's pretty cool because it's like all these car manufacturers from all over the world, they bring their newest technology and their coolest cars, and for like 15 bucks a ticket, you can let your four-year-old go pee-pee in the front seat of a $90,000 car. <laughs> and then just walk away. <laughs> that's not even a joke, that's true, that's, that's true. Um, but I did, I invited a bunch of friends, my wife is here, my managers are here, I just said, you guys are awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to that exit applause, I'm already looking forward to that, that sounds really great. Um, Cause I kinda thought like, go big or go home, right? Like, I go hard, I'm a, go, we'll see there. I go hard. Um, it's like, uh, you know, because either you laugh with me now, or it doesn't go well, and then, like, we have something to talk about later. And for years, we can have, remember that, that time you bombed doing five minutes on stage? That was hilarious! I like to think, of, well, I was going to call it the, the kamikaze approach, but that seemed a little racist. Um, so I skipped that. Um, yeah, I made the right call. I think I did the right thing there. Uh, suicide Bomb was out. That was uh, already on the list. Right, yeah. No, no. But I spent some time trying to come up with, like, what's the, like, I don't know, like, white guy American version of one of those things. And I decided that I'm going to call it the, the Thelma and Louise. I Thelma and Louise did. I mean, spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's like a little... See it. They, they could have survived, I guess, but they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> I mean, they're dead. Maybe they survived. I don't know. <laughs> but the way I look at it is either, like, I make you laugh now with me, or you laugh at me later, but either way, I make you laugh, so I win. 
I am a competitive kind of person. I like to win a lot of different things. I've realized I have a, a competitive laugh. Like I have a thing that, that if I'm seeing some excellent stand-up tonight or uh, seeing some theater, um, I have a few different versions that I've realized are like competitive laughs. Um, like I, one of them is like to like to be quick to the joke. Like I'll start laughing before they even get to the punch. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. I got it. <laughs> That's one that I jump on like immediately. Punchline was the rest of that joke for anyone who was like, yeah, if you weren't quick enough, you gotta be quick on these. Uh, and then another one is like, if I don't get that first jump in there, then I'll just be super loud. It'll, it'll just be like, oh, the call broke up with you! Yeah! I get it, you're getting over, <laughs> you're getting over it! I get the joke better than everyone else here. Like, it's a weird kind of competitive thing that I'm saying. I don't know. And then the other one, like, if those two don't work, then it's just like the hang on for dear life, and like, I'm gonna just grind this one out and win it. Like, I'd just be like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, Sean Spicer is the worst. You're right. <laughs> I win. That's, that's all the time I got, guys. Thank you so much.